Kathy Wiggins, this quilt is stunning. Can you tell us about it? Yes. Um, I've been collecting carousel images for a while, and it was time for me to actually do a carousel stampede quilt. And I wound up um, doing hand drawings of each one, and then I, um, I started out with white muslin, and it took me about 300 hours to paint it. Oh my gosh, so what do you use to paint? I use Jacquard textile mediums to do a base painting on it, and then I use Shibble Oil Sticks to add all the shading, which oh, gives gorgeous. it the three-dimensional um, areas. It makes it, it makes it look rounded. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and then about 250 hours of quilting. Oh my gosh. Yes. You are a crazy woman, but spectacular. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, spectacular. the crazy part though was putting the crystals on. I was a little nervous. I'm not a crystal girl. And it took me about 40 plus hours to put the crystals on one at a time. Well, congratulations. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece. Thank you. Thank you. in Australia in the 70s for a couple of years and I really got hooked on everything Australian. Oh yeah. And so this is at dawn and the kangaroo is running through the flowers and into the bush. Wonderful. It was a fun project. It looks like a fun project. Oh yes. <laughs> well thank you so much for sharing. Oh you're welcome. Congratulations. Thanks for coming around. It was really thank nice you. to meet you. Good. Your quilt is spectacular. So how did you go about making this? Did you take a photograph? Yeah. And I, then you did? Yeah, I, I took a photograph and I, I see a photograph and uh, uh, I drew uh, using the computer uh, drawing software. Yes. And uh, print on, on the uh, freezer paper. Oh, okay. Yeah, freezer, a, yes? Yeah, real freezer paper. And uh, cut them, all of them. Oh my goodness, yeah, it's, that's a lot of pieces. Yeah, and uh, easy to make uh, more accurate? Yeah, accurate. accurate. Is it um, fused? Yeah, fused. It's fused. fused. Yeah. Oh, it's absolutely stunning. Thank you and Thank congratulations. Thank you very much. This quilt is spectacular. Will you tell us about it? About Cochise? Well, I started doing Native American portraits after I took a class from Pam Holland at the Houston Quilt we Festival love in 2007. Pam. Oh, she's a wonderful teacher. She if you is. ever get a chance to take a class, she's wonderful. She's my bud. So, what makes Cochise so well, special? Cochise, um, he's from Arizona. He was a very misunderstood man. He was the most feared and the most loved of the Apaches. His tribe loved him dearly, but the people in, the, in Arizona were terribly afraid of him. But he was a very honorable man, and I just decided that since there's no photograph of him, that he needed to be put on a quilt so that he could be honored in, in a way so that people could remember who he was. And I did yeah. a lot of research on what his physical attributes were so that I could depict him as close to his actual look as possible. Thank you so much for telling us about it. It's wonderful. Well, you're welcome. Christine... This is amazing, and I love that you've interpreted quilt, a, a, a quilt as a book. Can you tell us about your piece? I can tell you a little, but yes, it was influenced by the uh, illuminated manuscripts from the Middle Ages, and I've always wanted to do a quilt with that as the influence, but I couldn't find a subject that I felt suited it. And then I came across the seven deadly sins, and I thought, perfect, but yeah. how am I going to do it? I didn't want to do just panels. I thought, well, a book would be appropriate. A book that, would be appropriate. Yeah, That's how it happened. <laughs> it was, I mean, it was not overnight, but that's how it happened. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, how did you do the pictures? I drew them and yeah. painted them. 
Wow. Drawn and painted on fabric. Yes. The detail is incredible. Thank what you. What kind of paints are you using? Fabric paint, Pebio. Pebio paints. Excellent. Well, it's beautiful and congratulations. Thank you very much. Well, here is Karen and her wonderful piece she's worked with. Now, who did you work with on this piece? Yvonne Smith. Yvonne Smith. She's actually the perfectionist piecer, which is amazing because I am not. But yeah, I'm, but you're an awesome quilter. Yeah, I try to be. Yeah. Yes. So together we make a really great team. And um, this was Jacqueline DeJong's Elements of Nature pattern. And Yvonne enlarged it and we added a few more things. And then I kind of went to town with the quilting. Yeah, the cool thing is spectacular. This is yeah. beautiful. Yeah, just pulled some of the elements that are in the patterns out. Followed the geese around. And yeah, it's gorgeous, and thank, thank you. you for telling us thank about you. it. Thank you. Thank you. Lisa, congratulations on thank your you. first prize win. This is thank just you. gorgeous. Thank you. You want to tell us about your quilt? Sure. My dad was diagnosed with cancer, and as soon as that had happened, I knew that um, I would make a whole cloth in his honor. Wow. So those are his initials in the center of the oh. quilt. Um, and then the 12 teardrop uh, shapes around the outside represent his children, his grandchildren, and his wife. Wow, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely so. wonderful. And your quilting is, oh my God, spectacular. Thank you. Which Thank would you. be why she won a prize. Yeah. <laughs> I did. Um, I developed rulers specifically for some of the fill work that I like to do. So all of the little uh, floating cross hatching and the straight line work, I developed rulers so that I could do all of that stuff. So where are those available? Those are available at stonehousequilting.com. Well, how do you like that? That's awesome. And is it quilted on a uh, domestic or a oh, no, long no, arm? No, 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 no. Uh, it's oh. quilted on a long arm. It's I don't have that okay. skill set. Yes. <laughs> well, that's a whole nother skill it set. Is. So it is. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank you so it much. It really is a spectacular quilt. Thank you very Thank much. You. I see you have a ribbon on your quilt. Can you tell us about your quilt? Yeah, um, it, it started out as I just have a love of dimension, and so what I wanted to do was to create something that was truly dimensional. So I put prairie points in the feathered stars, and then did the trapunto and added beading to add a little more texture. It is absolutely stunning. So are these all beaded in here? Oh my gosh. Yes, there's That's about 2,200 Swarovski pearls on the front and 2,200 Swarovski crystals on the back. Well, first of all, I didn't know Swarovski made uh, pearls. They do. They do. <laughs> and we keep telling everybody they do make pearls. They do. Yeah. So are they iron? Yes, they are. They're hot fixed that crystals. That is so cool. Well, congratulations. Thank, and thank you, Bonnie. You so I appreciate much. it. Thank Thanks. you. Shirley, congratulations. Your piece is spectacular. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Well, it's all pieced. It's it's all pieced. Pieced. I like to piece. You do, and, and it's all. Curves. Yeah. Well, okay, maybe not all well, curves. Well, I use but a, lot. a freezer paper process yeah. Yeah. To, to do the curves. <laughs> well, congratulations thank and you. thank you for telling us about it. Okay. I have met one of the Founder Awards uh, winners. This is Margot from Australia. Margot, congratulations. Thank and you very much. Could you tell us about your quilt? Um, yes, yeah, so I fell in love with the photograph of it I was given, and it was black and white, <laughs> and I decided I'd like to make it because of the diagonal cut of it. It's oh, just different. It is different. And I knew nothing about it at that stage. I had to do a lot of research. <laughs> yeah. But I kept working at it, and I drew all the patterns from the pictures, and uh, it eventually turned out pretty good, I think. <laughs> well, the fact that um, Carrie and Nancy liked it, I yes. think that's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> well, congratulations, and Thank it you is very beautiful. much. Well, I've come across another winner. This is Lahala. Lahela. Lahela. Mm -hmm. This is Lahela. Mm -hmm. Your quilt is beautiful. Do you want to tell us a little bit about it? Um, right after my mother passed away, I needed a project to um, 
get through that emotional time. So I decided to make a quilt that I knew that she would love. And she was, she loved hand quilted, traditional, bright colored quilts. That's about it. So this is to honor her? This is in her memory, yes. And yes. I'm sure she loves it. Oh, I know she would love it, yeah, yeah. 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 So. Well, congratulations and thank, thank you for you. telling us about it. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, I like to do three-dimensional soft sculpted flowers. Uh, trying to find and develop different materials that either provide lift or um, have the ability. Right, so I use a variety of different things, including um, Tim Tex, uh, crinoline. Right, okay. Uh, crinoline petticoat. Right, but Nutridur. Yeah. Uh, different things so that they either provide lift uh, or drop and drip. Simulating flowers. Right, right. Well, your work is beautiful, and thank you so much for telling us. Probably about 30 years ago when I started quilting, I took classes with Libby Lehman. And let me tell you, this woman has had the most influence on me. She's absolutely wonderful. So there's an exhibit here of showing some of Libby's work, and I'm so glad to see it here. And we are all wishing Libby good health and healing and wishing her the best.